Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Yes, we are once again back in the world of Kaiser Redux, and it is going to get really spicy. Now, at this point, you might wonder, just how spicy are we talking here? Well, my friends, I tell you here today that it is my intention to today find God. And with the love of Jesus Christ, we will cleanse the world. Think on that what you will. You already saw from last time with the Mongolian Khanate that there are some rather interesting focus trees inside of this game. I love this mod and all the crazy shit that is involved in it. For anyone who is not familiar with this, this is Kaiser Redux. It is a world in which the German Empire won World War I. So it's Kaiserreich, but Kaiser Redux keeps a lot of the insane alternate history focus paths that you can choose after. And Poland! Oh boy, does Poland have some. And by that, I mean you go down here to extra content, which has a lot of other crazy insane paths that are in this game. I uh, don't even know how to process this particular one. Ooh! Oh, that, that could be spicy. But no, this one. Regni de Polonia. Normal Poland? No, we're going to turn on Regni and watch the madness happen. Also, before we begin, I saw some kind of comment that someone had left me that said that I sound like I'm on cocaine. Do I actually sound like I'm on cocaine? Am I that excited and weird about this shit? To be fair, I would be asking that of the people of Poland, considering what it is that they're going to be doing here. Because for anyone who's wondering about the historical context of this mod, Poland is effectively a vassal state of the Germans at this point. Released from the remnants of the Russian Empire as it fell apart, we are a puppet of the German Empire, something that we are bound by the German military, a conflict of interest between Vienna and Berlin on who actually has control of us, and our industry is completely dominated by the Germans. Meanwhile, for the past 20 years, as the story goes, the Regency Council has just sat on their asses and done absolutely nothing to determine who the next King of Poland is going to be. Gee, politicians, you never really change no matter what universe you're in. So first things first, let's go ahead and get our research. We're actually part of the Kaiser Wilhelm Society, so we will get some technological bonuses at least in the beginning. Simultaneously, let's get our industry underway, put all of these into one path, because we genuinely are not going to have much that we can do here and check out our military industry we really don't have much wow that is weak that is really weak but it's okay we'll work on it oh god we don't even have any resources now do we shit we really don't other interesting detail from the start of the game notice we don't have the ability to choose a focus tree oh why because we start with the great debate a 210 day focus where we can do nothing during that time because once again the politicians of the regency council are doing jack shit yeah, the situation in Poland in 1936, it sucks, and the great debate continues. No one is doing anything, but there's this weird little thing that is happening here where apparently there's some fringe Christian radicals in the countryside. I wonder if that has anything to do with what we plan. We were also gaining no political power whatsoever, so that's just freaking lovely at this point. Yep, and there goes Black Monday, the point in 1936 where the stock market crashes in Berlin and everything falls apart, which, of course, massively affects us, and there's nothing that we can do about it. Minus 50% construction speed. Ouch! Politicians, do your duty, or you will end up with your heads on spikes. That tends to happen in these scenarios. Ah, yes, minus two stability. Perfectly functioning. But at least in the wake of Germany's economic meltdown, this allowed us to seize all of those companies that were uh, monopolizing things in Poland. So that gets rid of one of the effects, allowing us to actually build things. Oh, wow. A bombing in Warsaw. 50 people get killed and 200 injured. And it's all the work of people who claim that they're doing it to stop the oppression of the masses. Well, I guess if your solution to not being oppressed is killing people, then they're not going to be oppressed anymore after that. Good logic. Peace was never an option, apparently, in Poland. See, this is what I'm talking about. The council, the Regency Council, is just continuously getting distracted. The debate that they're having is on how tall the next king should be, because some think that they should be really tall, others think that if they are too tall, then building statues of that king could bankrupt the country. You fucking idiots! Reprimand them or just say it's hopeless. Nah, it's fucking hopeless. We can't do shit with these politicians. We have to get rid of them. The Regency and the Sem are in danger. With the recent economic crisis and the Regent Council's inability to start working on electing a new king, they've lost all popular support and the government just fucking collapses. Yes, minus 17 stability. True Polish politics. Now chaos on the countryside. Who takes over? The Communist Party of Poland? The Camp of Great Poland? Or in a turn of events that no one expected, the LOP, the crazy Christians, take over? Let's find Jesus, boys. Now, the normal focus tree that is in here is this, a national rebirth, which gives you some pretty good effects and has some interesting ideas, and it's all about driving the Germans out and reclaiming the true Christian heritage of Poland. But if you activate the extra content now... That unlocks this big focus tree, which in the end has three different paths that you can choose for your own crazy branch of Christianity and what you're going to do. You have one that combines like pagan beliefs and Christianity and like these dark kind of rituals. This is, as you can probably see from the pictures, the Deus Volt path in which you can enthrone Jesus Christ as the king. And this seems to be a weird blend of Christianity, Judaism, and communism, and I don't even know what else to describe this. 
I want to do all these different paths. So if you like what you see here and you enjoy the video, like it. And if this video gets 6,000 likes, I will do another episode of the exact same thing and we'll explore one of the other paths. So now first things first, we do want to try and fix our economy, which we will need over here for integration and to uh, fix these effects. But, but before we do any of that, we need to kind of fix our politics first so that we can actually gain some political power. As soon as this one is done, then it's time to fix the economy. Oh no, Germany abandons Poland. Oh no, what a tragedy. Well, I'm coming for you, Germany. Look, somehow we became more stable by finding Jesus. All right, there we go. That removed most of the negative effects here. So now at the very least, we're gaining some political power. Next up on here, economy. We're going to get this, give us some civilian factories and industry, and then these two so that we can go ahead and remove all the Black Monday effects and actually start building shit. Oh, yep, and the entire world is still kind of burning to the ground. So many events in this game. All right, and the moment we have some political power, we're going to go ahead and use some of this and start getting army logistics. We're going to do different things that can start boosting the amount of army experience that we're going to gain. We need as much of that as possible. And there is the last of that focus that fixes our construction. So now we can actually start building shit. So it is time to condemn the Teuton heresy. The Teutonic Germanic race has always been the blight on humankind. Holy shit. The Kaiser and his ilk are nothing more than their unholy offspring. The Germans are their devils. Wow, this is going to be spicy. It also adds extensive conscription. Oh boy. What you're going to see by the end of this is that quite literally the majority of the Polish population is going to be mobilized to cleanse the world. All in the name of Jesus, baby. Oh, and we're rediscovering old glories, which is creating a wave of anti-German violence. How tragic. Also, I love this. We get a national spirit, the spirit of Yagalo, giving us a 15% attack bonus against Germany, and that's just going to get significantly better, baby. All right, there's the newborn saint. Next up on here, convince Chattaka. Unite all the Christians together under one banner. Ah, once again, there goes the uh, American Civil War here. All right. Looking like a really weird case of Napoleon ice cream, I guess. All right, now, before we do anything else politics-wise, because I don't think we necessarily need any of this just yet, let's go ahead and start working on different aspects of our economy, get this up and running. Oh, whoa, 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 crisis on the Danube. Austrian Empire declared war on the Kingdom of Hungary. Do we do we go and help them? What kind of forces are we looking at over here? Uh, considering that if I did that, I wouldn't just be taking on the Austrians, I would be taking on everyone else. I'm going to go ahead and say no. No, good, good luck with that. Good luck with that, because you, you are at war with everyone around you at this point. So yeah, that's not going to work out, buddies. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is not working out well for you at all. I'm really glad that I didn't step into this mix. Don't worry, Hungry. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, I think. Honestly, I don't know at this point. Whoa, Emperor Hirohito was assassinated. What the fuck? I have not seen that happen before. What is going on now? Yasuhito, wow, you, wow, you have a very interesting hat there, buddy. Oh God, Japan could be getting even spicier than in our timeline. All right, now that our research is complete, new Polish worker, and gradually work our way down here on the industrial expansion paths. Yep, and there goes Hungary, so Austrian Empire is roaring back. And since it is 1938, I think it's time we finally start getting our military industry underway and get this going. We have plans, people. Speaking of plans, it's time to get some military industry going, and look at this, look at this swanky art. What a chad, what a chad, my dude. Whoa, Japan already going after the Philippines. You are being remarkably aggressive at this point. Wow. All right, with this, we are actually starting to get a military industry underway. It is time that we gradually start expanding upon each one of these things to be able to produce more and more goods. And there it is. That is the last one that we can do here. We can't do this one. This currently has no effects. I see no point in doing this, wasting 100 days. Just get an extra 2.5% factory output. Yeah, nah, forget that. It's time for politics, baby. Send a letter, get a leader. Integrate the Patriots, get an additional 5% recruitable population and war support. Oh, you religious zealots, you. Look at your happy face. Oh, Ukraine going after Romania. They're going to just eat them real quick. Wow. Well, that'll be interesting. What are you doing, buddy? Why are you being so aggressive? Oh, wow. You look swaggy as hell. Leo Stefan the first. Well, ethnically Austrian. Oh, wow. A compromise of the indicative of a compromise between the Reichsbach and Ukraine. This is this is actually rather interesting. Ukraine has a focus tree. Oh, my God, they do. I could play Ukraine in this. That could be fun, actually. First time I've ever said that for a game for Hearts of Iron, it would actually probably be fun. And speaking of fun, it is time to cleanse. Huh. I'm not exactly so sure how I should feel about this description and cleansing people from our nation. Historically, that already kind of happened in Poland to a certain degree. And during that time, not really many good things happened. But it's okay, now that they're cleansed along with 180,000 other people, it's time to convene the Holy Council and determine what exactly it is that we're going to be doing. With the first phase of the rebirth of Poland done, the time has come to call a Grand Council in order to figure out what brand of Christianity that we're going down. Oh, wow, sick man of Europe. All right, everything blows up in the Ottoman Empire. The sick man can now die. Good luck to you, buddy. All right, there's going to be in the Holy Council. Are we going to be able to get this in time? Ah, there it is. Great sitting on the Holy Council. The Polish Rebirth Council, together with allied groups, has gathered in Warsaw as the United Holy Council with the purpose of officially setting the future course of Poland. 
The many factions vying for power are the advocates of neo-paganism with a strong devotion to Christ the Wanderer, the Cavaliers of Jesus Christ with a Catholic state with crusading and distributism, or something called the Circle of God's Cause, which is like the Messianic thing. No, the Knightly Order. We're going on a crusade, baby, which is once again going to give us an additional 10% attack and more recruitable population, along with the church education for, for more research, distributist economy, which reduces consumer goods by 15%. What the fuck? This is so powerful. 20% production cap, 5% research speed. All right, first things first, procession to Warsaw. Or no, Wawel. Wawel Cathedral. We're sending all of our men, women, and children to march down here and just ask them to please give up and join us, I guess. If they don't, we murder them. The faithful in Galatia. The procession of the faithful originally gathered in Warsaw has finally reached Krakow. Numbering in the hundreds of thousands, they demanded to be let into the Wawel Cathedral and for Galatia to return to Poland. With the riots breaking out all across it, the local administration just admits it, and they join us like that. No trouble, no fight, no nothing. That just gives us all this land and population, and we're going to get cores on all of it in just a second. Revising the Polish-Romanian border. If Romania's paid, they can have it. Sure, why not? Just go ahead and take it. I don't care. It's not a core of mine anyway. That'll decrease our consumer goods down, and we'll be able to do even more. Oh, I just now realized our name is Crusader Poland. <laughs> this is way too perfect. Land of Saints and Kings, that is done. Now wisdom of the church for that research slot and give us this massive economic boost. We follow the church, baby. Deus Volt, Deus fucking Volt. And look at this goddamn manpower pool that we have here. Oh, oh, also I realized we ended up stealing a tiny piece of Hungary because of the previous war that Hungary got in. It's okay, Hungarians, you can be a part of me. And that right there is our massive economic boost. Look at that, down to two percent consumer goods. That means that at this point we can build as many military factories as we want and we're not gonna hardly be affected by anything. Now we get the land of our youth because we want people to have very good, happy childhood memories here in Crusader Poland. Ah, those fond days growing up, crushing the infidel. Brings it here to my eye. Church militant, it's not enough that the Polish church supports our cause. The faithful have to be mobilized for a crusade. Ah, because soon Germany, soon you're gonna have more than just this to deal with. There it is, my friends, enthrone the righteous king. Let's find Jesus. A fall of Beijing, what's going on over here in China? Oh, pain, lots, lots and lots of pain. It's good to see the Mongols are doing their whole Mongol thing though. Oh God, France is actually pushing into the Rhine. Oh, 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 Germany is getting driven back. Oh, and well, there goes Romania. Romania is gone in this scenario. Ukraine looking thick. Wait, that was the event? Do we hit? No, he's on charge. Do I have to wait? Oh, there it is. Enthrone or entronization of Christ the King at a grand ceremony carried out in the Wawel Cathedral of the Royal Castle in Krakow. The leading archbishops together have declared that Christ is is in charge there it is everyone jesus christ the leader of crusader poland which oh my god those are powerful effects more monthly population less consumer goods 15 stability and research speed christ is the source of all knowledge my friends christ is the source of all knowledge well the last thing for us to do is to cast the demons back to abaddon and declare on the german empire but i don't want to quite do that just yet so here we go the next war's army 50 percent reduction cost in land doctrine and we're going to start getting this boosted so let's see, we want to work our way down to the new wing to SARS. Motorized attack plus 10%, motorized defense plus 10%, cavalry attack plus 15%, and then on top of that, an offensive force, an additional 10% division attack. So if I converted my entire force to motorized, baby, the Hussars are back. But to do that, we're not only going to need a lot of guns, we're simultaneously going to need a ton of trucks. So let's get that going. Wait, Austria declares war. Wait, what did Austria do now? Oh, oh, Austria is having fun with the commies now too. That's lovely. Venezuela declared on the West Indies Confederation. Venezuela, what are you doing now? Don't you think this is just being a little bit much for you? I do like your mustache though. Holy shit, no. Germany is actually getting destroyed. How are they losing so badly? They have so many divisions. I don't want to declare on them just yet because this is terrifying. Wait, how big is France then? Smaller. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, when when did the Russians become a thing? The Russian syndicalist republic. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. They, they are fighting everyone. Wow. All right. No wonder the Germans are stretched. They are trying to defend things on both sides. All right, fuck it. Once we finish this one, even though we're not going to be at that level, we're going to attack the Germans. We have to take our land back as quickly as possible. Because, oh God, I can't even get any of my steel from Ukraine anymore. All right, there's the New Age Cavalry. We are running behind. Quick, cast the demons back to Abaddon. We got to do this. These guys are not fully trained yet, but it does not matter. We will be able to sweep over them like a goddamn tidal wave. There it is. Cast the demons. Let's go. Let's go. Declare war. We are going to leave Middle Europa. 
And fuck you, Germany. Goodbye. The crusade has started. Let's go. All right, quick. While that's being done, once again, go over here, boost our military. We're not going to be able to use these against Germany, but we will be able to use the stuff against others. And there is no one to stop us now. Germany is already over halfway to falling. And we're gonna probably going to be able to take the rest of this because now they have to split their forces even more. Come on, buddies. There's no stopping here. We are heading to Berlin. Crusader Poland rises from the freaking ashes. Fall of Berlin. There it goes. We've taken the capital. How close is Germany to falling out at this point? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just a moment. Just a moment. Oh, wait, what? Peace conference is over. Calculating. Wait, what? What is happening? My game frozen? No. We're getting a white peace with like everyone around us. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. The collapse of the Reichspakt means that we no longer have to worry about that. It is time to just crush the Germans. And there they go. That is Germany. That is Germany gone. Perfect. And that means that it's time we take back the rightful Polish clay. And there it is. There you have it. The great, great peace deal. Crusader Poland swelling up here in size. Wait, what is this? Why is this still show saying that Lithuania owns this? No, Lithuania doesn't own this. No, 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 no. We're going to go ahead and cleanse that real quick. All right, but with that fixed now on this side, I don't think there's anything for us to worry about. So you know what? Just go, just go, 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 go and attack. Burn through the ground. Destroy everything. There's no stopping Crusader Poland. There's the new Wing to Sars, now an offensive fighting force. Division recovery rate, and more importantly, 10% additional attack, baby. Oh, assimilate all the other territories into our midst, yes. Okay, there goes Lithuania. That's another one down. Lithuania always belonged to Poland, didn't you know? The consecration of France. Wait, what was that? I completely missed the event. I don't know what they did, but oh god, they released a lot of communist puppets. And there goes Ukraine. I didn't want to kill you, Ukraine, but you forced my hand. I'm sorry. And there you have it. A, a significantly thicker looking land right here. I'll tell you that much. We are no longer at war with anyone. Peaceful Crusader Poland. That is technically speaking, the end of the focus tree. It entirely focused on just eliminating Germany. And that's it. But I think we can do a little bit better than that, you know. An invitation from Rome, a growing power for the reunification of the Italian peninsula. The Italian Federation has seen fit to try and claim a place in the sun and has offered us a part in the dot. Okay. You know what? As the Catholics, I'd say, yes, we stand with the Italians, Poland and Italy. A match made in heaven, if you will. Match made in heaven. Get it? Just heaven. Okay, I'll shut up. Oh, no, look. Pius, it's actually the Pope. The Pope is the one in charge. Oh, Perfect. I love it. I love it. Dang, you know, 1940, things are already over. I don't know what we're going to be seeing next. I genuinely am pretty curious. Looks like the United States is now split into two factions for the most part. Kingdom of Canada is not succeeding in anything that it was trying to do against the Union of Britain because now the communes can focus all their efforts on everything else. Wait, call to arms from the Italian Federation. Who the fuck are they at war with? Socialist Republic of Italy. Where the hell is the Socialist Republic of Italy? No, seriously, where where are you? I only see the Kingdom of Sardinia. I don't, I don't see any other Italian state here. What the fuck are you fighting? Fuck it, I'm not accepting that call to arms. Screw you, Italy. And there goes White Ruthenia, which means that we now share a border on two sides with the big socialist powers. That is not fun. Wait, Austria is still involved in all this, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're still at war with everyone else. Oh, look, Japan going after China. Who would have ever guessed that this would be a thing, huh? Well, there's 72 divisions uh, cranked out as well. We'll go ahead and get those trained up, which is awesome. And just continue to boost ourselves along. We're not the one we can get Modern Blitzkrieg, Backhand Blow. All we need now is Modern Blitz, and we are going to be set. Because baby, the winged SRs are back. This is going to be brutal. Look how fast these things move at a base. 14.5. This is about to be nasty. Oh, that's right. I don't need infantry equipment anymore. What we're going to need a ton of is artillery. So let's just go ahead and do that then. Well, Austria, it looks like uh, you're starting to see a couple bad things happen here. The commune of France is beginning to break through on your side. All right, with this, there's really nothing else for us to do. So I guess we just focus on army training, get these units out. We got to crank out as many of these as possible because now we're going to start switching over to a more motorized focused. Collapse of the Portuguese Empire. Oh no, Portugal. Oh wow, oh you got taken over by Britain. Wow, what the fuck is with your face? Eric Blair, you creepy motherfucker. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Are the, are the Romanians at war with, oh. Oh God, they are. Oh God, they are. Oh no, oh no, Italy. Italy, I'm not helping you. Oh no, oh no. Quick, we need more men, more. No, no, there they go. I am surrounded on all sides by fucking commies now. Oh, Italy, you are fucked. Italy, you are fucked. I am on my own. It is quite literally me against everyone else now at this point. Well, if I wanted the challenge at the end of this, I suppose taking on the entirety of Europe myself is par for the course. It's a holy fucking crusade, people. Uh, well, I guess with Italy dead at this point and no point in doing any of this, we get rid of the Italian bloc and that means we can go our own way. 
As though we haven't been doing that already. Oh God, what is this? The Kingdom of Canada, the, the National Indigenous Federation. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? The natives are taking over Canada. I won't even be able to get help. I'm completely on my own. Poland will create its own faction, the Polish Intermarium, which will have no people in it whatsoever. You know what? It's time towards the the the, 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 the line. Yes, it's time, boys. We've been waiting way too long. Let's do the shit towards the Damowski line. Does that mean we can uh, just go ahead and claim things? No. I was hoping that would work, but I guess not. I guess in this case, on our own, we just focus on building up our infrastructure, preparing our railways, because I'll have to start justifying then if I can't do this. All right, well, I guess uh, here we go then. 80 days. It's time for war. All of Washington. Oh, no. The syndicalist. No, communism is winning here too. No. Well, there's my justification finished, but we need to wait. We need to wait until this is, uh, we got our soldiers fully trained up here. Let's go have some fun in what is probably a horrible mistake, but you know what? We're doing it for Jesus Christ, baby. God wills it. Deus volt. Deus fucking volt. All right. Yep. They call in literally everyone against me. I'm at war now with the entire fucking world. This was a horrible mistake. All right, Russia pretty much only has to focus on me. That is probably the first big dangerous target that we need to knock out first. But how many men do they even have? They, oh, wait, uh, actually, it's not as many as I thought it would be. You know, on that logic, why don't we try to take as much territory as we possibly can? Let's just fucking go for it. So quick, quick, quick. Let's just go and try and attack. See if we can take as much territory as we possibly can. Let's fucking go, boys. Quick, surround, destroy as many of these little units as we can. We have very fast, speedy little things. Let's see if we can knock out as much of their territory as possible. The more of these forces that we can make collapse, the better. Yeah, there goes the Iskolat Republic. That's one thing down. And whoa, okay, okay. We're starting to see some resistance over here. We're starting to see some resistance. All right, quick, quick, quick. Let's move in fast as we can, fast as we can. Okay, perfect. There's another one surrounded. Let's go. Let's just freaking go. The Russians are only just now starting to get their forces into play here. So if we can surround and destroy a whole bunch of them, we'll be perfect. There's another group wiped. Okay, excellent, excellent. We're just making our way over here into Russia. Just continuously push as we can. Okay, and once we take this territory, let's just go ahead and stop here so that we'll be set. We want to let them build their forces all around us as much as they possibly can in order for us to be able to hold. There we go. I think we took a sizable amount of land. We managed to secure a whole bunch of the supply points. Perfect. All right, come on. Wipe out some of these. Destroy some of the valuable lands. All right. Are they there? Oh, wow. They are throwing themselves at me across the entire line over here now. Okay. Well, as long as my dudes can kind of hold out, that's all that matters. We just need to hold along the line and hope. Oh, God. No, we're not holding along the line. All right. There we go. Send in reinforcements. Hold the line. Hold the line. You got this. You got this. Because they are now throwing themselves at me. Okay. So as long as we can hold and just let them continuously bleed out against us, I hope it'll be okay. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's getting, it's getting a little, it's getting a little, little bit, little, little, little bit, little bit, little bit iffy over here. All right. Here, just withdraw back, withdraw back, withdraw back, withdraw back. Come on. Come on. Let them take the land. Let them take the land. Let them take it. That's all right. They're making slow advances, but we are grinding them down. We've lost 215,000 versus a hell of a lot more on the enemy side at this point. Oh, now they're launching naval invasions on me. Okay. All right. All right. It's getting a little bit dicey here. No, no, you bastards. Stop attacking me. Stop attacking me. Come on. Hold, you fuckers. Hold. How are these things so incredibly beefy? All right. Come on. Come on. Surround and destroy. Surround and destroy. Here we go. Here we go. Keep on moving in. Keep on moving in. Oh, God. Another one. Another landing. Would you people leave me the fuck alone, please? Come on. Break through. Break through. Break through. Come on. Are we holding out here? Are we holding out here? All right. They stopped their attacks. They are attacking on a couple other places, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We just need to keep going. I'm telling you, this is absolutely fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. Not again. Come on. There we go. All right. There's a whole batch. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. They're coming for me from the other side. <laughs> Shit. Wait, no. All right, all right. Just let them feed in. Let them feed in. Let them take as much land over here as they want. Because that means we can move in and trap them. Oh, what's this? Did you not expect for me to immediately move in and get all of you fuckers? Oh, that's so tragic. You should definitely send more men down through the strait so I can keep on doing that. Oh, God. I've lost way more men than I thought that I did. Uh huh. Like, we're winning. We've destroyed a lot of divisions, but it's still not good. Oh, oh, what's this? Are you sending a big batch down? Oh, you should totally move those forces out of the way. You should totally move them down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep on going. Keep on going. Come on, come on. Send them down. Send them down. Come on, come on, come on. Break through. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Don't send all of those guys there. There's so many stacked. I just want to kill them. Oh, God. They're really throwing themselves at me along the entire line. Oh, God. My war sport is dropping. Guys, just, just hold 
on out, please. Oh my god, there's so many units stacked here. I can't even see my fucking map. Oh, oh, is that the entire army trapped here? What? What is that all that force is trapped? I wonder how many divisions this is gonna be. Holy shit, that was... Okay, they've just been recruiting more, but that was... Oh my god, the last two weeks they've thrown away about a million men. All right, uh-oh, uh-oh, they're starting to kind of break through me over here. Are they sending in more? They're sending in more. They're sending in even more. Oh my god, they're flooding this line again. And they're just recruiting more divisions. I can't even do anything. All right, all right, all right. But if you can just break on through, break on through. Yes, we got him again. We got him again. How many divisions is this? Oh, wow, that was another million men. Deleted. All right. I am really liking this trap that we were able to pull here. They keep on trying to send in their men, but... And I'm losing ground, but we're fucking holding. They're doing it again. You're doing it again. How many men will you fucking throw away? Come on, on. Eh, there it goes. There it goes. Woo, deleted again. Yetus, delete us. There was another million. This is so broken. Oh, speaking of broken, my lines are actually breaking. No, I'm about to lose all of my divisions over here. Come on, break them out. Break them out. Break them out. Hey, yes. All right. All right. You're free. You're free, motherfuckers. You know what? We're not going to be able to hold any of this. So let's just forget about it. Forget about it. We're not going to be able to do anything. Fall back line all along the river. We will do whatever we can. Hold this line. Yes, they're going to take all this land. I don't care. We will protect whatever we can. Fall of Lembeg. All right. All right. All right. Withdraw and hold. That should be fine. Yes, we're going to lose some men, but I think we can hold this line significantly. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I completely left myself unprotected. No. Fall of Warsaw. No. No. My brothers. No. My brothers in Christ. It's over. Jesus. Jesus, I'm coming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I failed you. No. Jesus. I'm so sorry. Well, everyone, in the end, uh, that was still incredibly fun. And if I play that one again, I will definitely play it smarter. Uh, I should have realized that trying to take out the Germans when you then have a unified Soviet force and France on your other side is probably a dangerous idea. And I, I, I should have prepared better for that. If you like this video and you would like to see another attempt in which we don't necessarily use an icon of Jesus Christ, we perhaps use some kind of, I don't know, pagan ritual to summon someone, then please let me know in the comments below. Like this video. If this video can get 6,000 likes, then we will do another one. I will see you all next time. God damn it. I am frustrated. I'm doing this one again.